So now let's actually get into the figure stock. So there's actually a lot of uh, news that came out of uh, both Hot Toys and uh, some revelations or reveals from InArt. So InArt I usually don't talk about, but they did a big thing about it uh, this week. So I'll go over that just for a little bit towards the end of this. But there's a few figures, a big news, teases and so forth that... Uh, I was expecting uh, last week. So when they did the Sideshow Con, they teased some things, but this type of announcement that we got this week from Hot Toys directly was the stuff that I was kind of expecting the week prior. And then, so there's more information now than there was at the Sideshow Con. But the main thing here is this. So Hot Toys announced another joker uh from the dark knight so within the one six scale community there is uh this consensus that the joker from inart so inart is another company that's kind of competing with hot toys they're they started making these figures realistic uh you know sculpts and, and so forth so their version of the joker has rooted hair and i mean their head sculpts are really good too some would say even better than hot toys but they don't have that many figures like hot toys does but uh the joker one that they've announced uh from hot toys years ago doesn't have you know rooted hair it's just regular sculpted hair and that was i think over a decade ago that they've actually announced that that uh dark knight ledger joker so perhaps it's a response to InArt. Then maybe InArt is actually taking away some some business from Hot Toys. Probably not significant enough yet, but this looks like it's a response from InArt. They did that Wonder Woman um, rooted hair uh, exclusive uh, about a month ago or probably more than now. Maybe like a month and a half ago. I think that was like the test. And now they're doing this one joker rooted hair and uh so here's another image here they also have a from my understanding there's also a sculpted hair ledger joker or hot toys that will be available they have the if you can notice here you can see the tongue heath ledger's uh joker he would have his uh he would have his to his tongue sticking out. So, from 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 what I recall reading is that because he has the, the prosthetics that he has on, on his in his mouth, apparently they would have they would make his lips or his mouth get really really dry, and he would stick his tongue out and like you know lick around his mouth or whatever. And it looks like they kept it uh, in the movies because you you see him do that a lot. You know his his tongue is sticking out. And it kind of works because it makes him look kind of like weird and crazy. So that's kind of an iconic thing. I know some uh, members of the 1-6 scale community do not like this. But you could remove this. It looks like this tongue, you could remove it. Um, and you can add, add it or take it out or whatever. I kind of like that it's like that because it, it, it's kind of a iconic for Ledger's Joker. Because that's something that only he did. I, I don't recall... Nicholson never doing that. Uh, Jared Leto definitely didn't do it afterwards. And uh, uh, Cesar uh, Romero, he didn't do that. So it, it was a specific unique thing that Ledger's Joker had it. So so I personally like that. So they added that in there. And here's another image here with the little grenades that he shows to the mob, as we see in that one scene. Actually, actually that was the, the first... Um, big scene that we see the joker when we see his actual uh full-on costume and everything so this is that one scene when he's playing around with the mobsters and he shows them the, the grenades here now this is a 15 year old movie so maybe they did the joker in, a, in addition to the in art response but because it's a 15 year anniversary you know the, the dark knight came out 15 years ago in july in 2008 so that might be part of it. This is an exclusive one. Now, the rooted hair is limited. From my understanding, I think they're only uh, having, I think they're only releasing 4,000 figures of the rooted hair. 
uh, worldwide. So that may be hard to get. The sculpted hair, I believe it might be uh, more quantities for it. So you, it might be doable uh, to get that one. But uh, this is what a lot of people are trying to get with the rooted hair. Uh, this is another image of just showing a little bit more, you know, suit jacket, a joker, a ledger, hot toy. And then another one here, a separate eyeball rolling system, like a lot of the uh, figures we've been having lately from Hot Toys. And another image here. So, so again, this is, uh, this, uh, Hot Toys is calling it the Artisan Edition, the Joker with the rooted hair. I, I'm, um, uh, so I, I have like a list of, um, uh, on my YouTube channel many years ago, I think it was like in 2019, I made a video about my top 10 uh, favorite characters, movie characters, TV characters of all time. And the Joker was one of them. Uh, I don't recall what place it was, but uh, he, I think it was like in the top three or maybe top four. I think it was top three. Uh, just the Joker as, as a character overall. So, and then I... I believe, or I think, that Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker in The Dark Knight is one of the best performances made or ever done. Um, I know a lot of people will disagree with that, but um, I'm not sure if he would be the best performance ever, but he's definitely amongst the best. So the, part, the, the thing that elevates The Dark Knight, in addition to all the other good things that are in it, is Ledger's performance. And... I thought I missed out on this one because I just started collecting just this year. So uh, this Joker Hot Toys came out many, many years ago. I think the last one was in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. So obviously I missed out on that one. And if you want to get it from the second market or whatever, you're going to pay a shitload of money just to get that version. Um, so this one just came out or is about to come out or about to be officially announced because it's not ready for pre-order yet. That's the other thing that you have to RSVP and try to get it. Um, I'm not going to try to get a, a rooted hair joker because the hair, the sculpted hair is probably going to be more accessible and it'll be cheaper. And I don't necessarily care about the rooted hair. And the rooted hair is going to be probably like $500 or more, which I'm probably, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do for this one. But, um, but just so you guys know, if you, if you guys don't know anything about this, um, it's this Joker from Hot Toys, the rooted hair is not available for pre-order yet. It will come. Um, maybe by the time I cut out this segment and post it on my YouTube channel and its own video, it, it'll probably be already at Sideshow and probably already sold out. But as of right now, July 30th, 12.55 p.m. Pacific time, this Joker is not available to pre-order yet. And I think it's going to be... Uh, pain in the ass to get him, but uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs>